Hi guys, my name is Nadine Speaks and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have a very special DIY for you. I made Christmas tree brownies. They're really cute and they're really yummy, so I hope you like it. And I just want to wish you a very happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Bye guys! Let's start off with the ingredients for these beautiful Christmas brownies. You'll need a 13 by 9 inch glass tray, a big mixing bowl to mix all your ingredients in, I just got regular brownie mix, vegetable oil, water, and two eggs to go with the mix, as well as vegetable oil to spray the thing and icing and sprinkles to decorate your Christmas tree brownies. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Now you're going to want to spray down your glass dish so that none of your brownies stick when you're cutting them into the tree shape. I just use regular store brand vegetable oil spray and spray down all sides and the middle. While the oven is preheating, we're going to go ahead and mix our brownies with the mix. So I just use this uh, Betty Crocker fudge brownie mix and it takes a half a cup of vegetable oil a third cup of water, and two eggs. Once you're done adding all your mix, you're going to start stirring until everything is homogeneous and there aren't any powdery bits in your brownie mix anymore. Make sure to scrape all the powder from the sides and stir until it's that beautiful consistency. Pour your brownie mix into your glass tray and make sure all is even. Make sure the mix is evenly distributed and an easy trick to do this is by taking the glass tray and just making it go both on all sides. Now it's time to put these babies in the oven. For a 13 by 9 inch tray, you're going to want to cook the brownies from 21 to 23 minutes. A few moments later. Now you're going to want to check the consistency of your brownies once the timer goes off. I did this with a toothpick. So you just run the toothpick in the middle and make sure you don't get any mix on either side of the brownie. That's when you know they're done. After you let it cool for about 30 minutes, we're going to cut these um, into the Christmas tree shape so that we can decorate them. I did this by cutting the tray into three separate parts. After cutting it in three separate parts, I cut it into the triangular shape and was able to take it out. Uh, once you're done cutting all the brownies, you're going to want to take your green icing and make whatever decoration you want. You can really get creative with this part. So I basically just ice them in a diagonal motion with this easy to use tube.
once I was done icing on the brownies, I went ahead and do sprinkles. You can really get creative with this. You can use any kind of sprinkles you want, like stars, multicolor, or red and green, I think are best for Christmas. One nice additional touch is if you take these mini candy canes and you take out the circular region and you just leave the stump, you can insert these into the bottom of your brownie for a little cute candy cane tree stump. Alright guys, so this is the finished product of my Christmas tree brownies. They really do taste as good as they look. I hope you had an amazing holiday season and Merry Christmas everyone. Thank you for watching my DIY and don't forget to subscribe below, like the video, and leave a comment below of your favorite Christmas tradition. Bye guys!